Yeah, um, it was a day of two charges, I guess. I, kept, I ran out to the lead early, uh, fishing docks, catching largemouth, uh, which I thought I could do. Um, but I also knew in the back of my mind that there wasn't enough docks to sustain all day. It wasn't a pattern I could run all day um, because I fish them so fast and just cover so many docks so quick. Uh, I knew I was going to have to change, moved around, fished a lot of underwater island, real shallow, moving baits, um, little baby thunder cricket, swim bait, uh, all moving baits, which is pretty, the wind was brutal today, so pretty much all you could do was moving baits and uh, um, catch them off docks on a jig, and then I'd bounce back and forth depending on if the sun was shining. Um, I'd try to let the docks rest a little bit, hoping maybe one would pull up underneath them, and um, I was able to bounce back on the docks and, and make a little run, and then I went back out to the underwater points and islands, and that's where I was able, I, I want to say close it out, but I don't even know if you could call it that, it was so close. I wanted to really put the heat on them docks early. Uh, before a lot of guys fished them, I knew I'd fished against a few. I did good here last time, and I knew I'd fished against a few of these guys. They was going to fish docks. Anytime the score tracker goes Andy Montgomery, the first thing everybody thinks is he's catching them off docks. And uh, there was some pressure on them early, um, so I wanted to be one of them that catching all I could first thing before they got beat up because there was, just wasn't many of them. Knew going into it, I was going to have to catch smallmouth somehow, um, and, you know, I was able to do that. Um, I thought maybe I'd catch them out deep on a drop shot and blah, 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 but the, the wind took that away. So the weather kind of benefited me. It, it took that out of my mind and said, you, you can't do this. You ain't going to be able to do it. I, I went a little while before I caught one, but once I caught that first one, my confidence went through the roof because I caught him shallow um, and I knew it was just a pattern that I probably could run on most of the lake. And I did, I caught them off several different places. I just had a good game plan, man. Like I said, I had some docks in the back of my mind. I, I felt like I could catch some more off of, and I went and I hit them hard. Jordan had started fishing docks too. He was all around me. And and then, you know, I felt like most of the good docks or the fish that I could catch off docks, they was done. And I didn't try to force it. I went right back to uh, fishing that offshore stuff with them smallmouth. And one place I'd seen on, on the Lowrance in the second period, I guess, that I hadn't fished in the second period, I stopped on it and I caught two smallmouth and that got me close and then Jordan, well, I actually took the lead and then Jordan took it back and then I went back to another island that I'd caught some earlier and was able to catch one more. So I had a really good game. And in these events, I always try to game plan for the third period because I know the third period is very important. and. Uh, Putting yourself in position the third period to make a run is, is very, very important. It's not like sudden death where you can't, you got to hammer down the whole time. And, and I'm not saying you don't hammer down, but it's just a lot of strategy. And make sure you put yourself in really good position in period three. This is what I did my damage on docks. It's a Strike King skipping jig. It's my skipping jig, Strike King rage bug. Uh, this is the new Team Lose skipping reel that I designed on my skipping rod. So there's a lot of skipping, and you say skipping like 50 times. Skip, skip, skip. What'd you use? I use a skipping jig on a skipping rod, on a skipping reel, and I skip docks, and I caught a lot of bass. And then offshore, it was winding the little thunder cricket and a, a swim bait around on them underwater islands where I could see the bottom. And you know, that'd be a smallmouth love transitions, and they would be, you know, dark to light or, or dark to clear spots and small mine needed to be feeding for me to catch them um, so I was able to bounce back and forward know it worked out but there's something about this trophy that ever since that Florida event I've had a bad taste in my mouth I want it bad really bad that's the kind you need to win the world championship